How are we going, everyone? Just checking out my tomatoes, some zucchinis. We've got some beans in here growing as well. The ones on the side there, I'm letting them bush out. I want to see how they grow because they're quite wide and quite rigid, in fact. So they're holding the shape without me having to support them on any garden stakes. But back on these ones here, now, You've probably seen it in the garden beds, and I haven't spoken about this for a long time, and I've got them activated, and a few of those beds that we've got them in have been in there for a while. I'm talking about the grow stick. And I've seen some great results. I mean, I've done it in Coburg when we had the store there, and I've actually used it here. Well, I am using it here, and I just take it for granted, because once you put it in, it's almost like set and forget, uh, and it just does its job. It doesn't need direct sunlight. It can get ambient light around it, and ideally, the more light it gets, the better it's going to perform. So what it does is generates that power, that uh, a little bit of a current that goes into the soil, energizes the soil, which in turn energizes your plants, and speeds up the growing process and the production line of the plants, whether it's flowers, fruit or vegetables. Now, to get even more accuracy, and look, these trials have been done all over the world, and where I'm leading to here is that we're going to do a trial as well. So this product's not just in Australia, it's in the Philippines, it's in America, England, <clears throat> it's been well received there, and we're just going to push it along slowly, but we're going to do another trial, and it's going to take us about three months to film the whole process, so we're not going to film it today and each week go back and just film another segment. We're going to film it all in the one entirety, cut it down, and then broadcast it to see the difference between one garden bed and the other, and I've got three or four over there that I can work with that are going to be perfect for this. So, but for now, what I want to do, now we've lost the sun because I talk too much. I actually brought one of these little things. I have no idea how to use it, folks. I've seen everybody, all the sparkies using this thing and just turn it left and right and it's meant to do something. So I'm going to try and do that too. Turn it left and right. And I'm probably going to get this wrong, but I just want to see if there's any reading at all. DC, you guys are probably shouting at whatever you're watching. I'd say, what the hell are you doing? We've got the DC function set here, folks, and we're going to measure the current coming through this little solar panel. Now, it's sitting in the shade. It's not getting direct sunlight, like I said before. Uh, here's your meter. Can you see that? There we are. And we just do that. There we are. It should be 5. It's 4.49. That's in the shade. So, obviously, it'll uh, crank up to 5 when it gets into the direct sunlight. Now that should reduce down to about half by the time it hits the plant. So it's a very small current uh, that's running through the uh, soil and obviously it's going to generate that energy. So electric coal shade in the past was practice and here we are now using solar panels to basically pop it in the ground like that and point it in the sun. It's as simple as that folks. Now, word of warning, if you've got young seedlings that you freshly planted, wait a couple of weeks before you put the grow stick in because it will cook them. That's the truth. I've tried it by accident. I didn't mean to do it, and I didn't realise. I have to let the seedlings settle down in the soil so they can uh, connect to the soil properly and start to grow and connect with the moisture, uh, the moisture, obviously, and the microbes. So just to confirm what we spoke about, here's the meter. First time I'm doing this, by the way. So we've got a zero reading there. I've got the two prongs that I'm going to stick in the soil. Now we've got a, now it's, the sunlight's gone. Here you go, see how much, how low light it is? So obviously that would be a lot higher if the sun was shining up or if it's the heat of the day or the middle of the day. If I take this out, uh, the power's gone. So as far as it working, it bloody does. It's a little simple unit and it bloody works. So I'm just going to do one more test here for you guys. This is, I put it in the shade, didn't I? The sun's there, there we are. All right, so let's get the meter reading on this now. Just one in here, it's not touching the grow stick, just in the soil. What have I done? Have I gone positive, negative way around? There we are. So in the sun, late afternoon, we've got a measurement of one, whatever that is in, I think that's volts. Correct me if I'm wrong. You obviously know I'm not a sparky. So that's in the afternoon. So by the time, uh, well, during the daytime, obviously, when it's uh, earlier in the day, midday, early afternoon, this will reach up to two, two and a half. That's what the plants will get. And you know what, folks? I'm gonna stick this in every part of my garden beds. It does up to about three square meters in these raised beds. There's the measurement. Let me take this out just to make sure. It's gone to zero and the power's gone. Put it back in. Energy's back up again. Move it away, just so you can see it. A little bit lower, 
because it's further away and it's only freshly planted, so the energy has to build its way through the garden. That's what I think. So the longer it stays in there, the better it's going to work long term. So, folks, every three square metres, one of these, I'll pop one in here, like that, face it up, and one over there, one over there, one over there, combined with my planting mix, my superfood and black grit. Mate, market garden, it's going to happen. <laughs> Facilitiesgarden.com, everything you need, plus a grow stick. We've got six pack deals going on there at the moment. Black Friday special, extra 15% off everything online, off the sale price, that is, so bigger discounts. Take care, have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. From me, Vasily, Maresi.